Welcome to the video. I realised that I screwed up in my last video in saying that I had no idea what I was doing this week. And that is because I completely forgot that it had been another eight weeks and I had another orthodontist appointment. So let's get on to the second checkup. I have a hole in my shoes. No! Outside vlogging and it's really noisy because the cars. I'm back from my second checkup and I have a few things that I want to talk to you about. The first thing is about new wires. By the time of your second appointment, which should be about four months in, depending on the speed of your treatment and how well it's going, you should be issued with new wires. In my case, they're lovely shiny silver ones. And they're there as part of the treatment to push your teeth that little bit more before further treatment can continue. The second thing I want to talk to you about is acceleration of treatment. Now in my case I am four months into my treatment and I've been able to gain two months which is great that means I should be done within about 16 months rather than 18 months. Um, by your second checkup your orthodontist should be able to tell if you've gained any time on your treatment. Obviously this is subject to how quickly your treatment is moving along but in theory they should be able to give you some sort of guideline as to whether your teeth are moving at a rate that is better than what was expected. It's not uncommon for acceleration of treatment to happen which is always good but it's also not uncommon for it not to happen so if you don't get acceleration on your treatment don't panic because they are recommended around 18 to 20 months anyway so if you do get anything it is just a bonus. The last thing I found out today that I wanted to share with you all is if you start your treatment before the age of 18, like I did last October, you don't have to pay, which is brilliant because if you go to the dentist when you're an adult, you generally have to pay for checkups. Now, the fact that you don't have to pay is going to considerably help you financial wise if you're a student like me, but it's also great in the respect that you still are covered by the NHS. What I'll do in a separate video is I'll go through orthodontic treatments that you'll have to pay for if you're having braces as an adult or when you even have a normal checkup at the dentist how much that will cost you and just give you a general idea of the cost of what your treatment could be if you're not covered by the NHS. And that's the end of the video. This time I genuinely have no idea what I'm doing next week. So once again, lovely surprises and I'll see you then.